Hey guys, it's MIB. Welcome to this, whatever this is. Uh, I actually meant to launch a podcast type thing back in late 2019, actually. But finally, here it is. And this format will give me a chance to do things I've never done before, such as reaction videos. Oh my god. And the first reaction I'm going to do is for the Godzilla vs. Kong poster that dropped uh, this morning, announcing that there's going to be a trailer coming this Sunday. That's going to be cool. I think a lot of people were, like, immediately taken by this poster just because it was something new. <laughs> because, we, because we've been starved for a year and a half and, and just haven't had any new Godzilla vs. Kong material. Not even, like, behind-the-scenes photos, not even paparazzi photos, just absolutely nothing except banners. So I think just on the basis that this poster is new, a lot of people were, uh, a lot of people were very excited by it. Uh, and that includes me. Um, but the more I look at it, I don't like it. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to. I want to like this so bad, but I don't like this poster. And it's not It's not the concept. The, the, the concept is awesome. I think Kong in a fiery city and Godzilla in the water making his way to him is, is super cool. It's mostly just graphical asset layout that I would criticize. Um... And it's one of those visual things where once my eye sees it, like it's starting to hurt to look at it. I, I it, looking at this poster hurts me now, <laughs> and I hate saying that. Um, but I'll tell you what it is that's really bothering me about this poster, and then in the comments, you just tell me what you think. All right, so I have maybe three major issues with this, and I'll go in the order of how much they they bother me. Um. Number one is the cropping of the entire thing. The top is just so much headspace above Kong, um, and I guess it's there to give a lot of room to the very thin One Will Fall slogan, but honestly, I don't think it needs that much headspace. I don't think it needs equal headspace from the top of the poster to the slogan as slogan to Kong's head. All that space above Kong's head could at least be cut in half which would be right about where the slogan is. So imagine the top of the poster cuts off there instead. And there's still plenty of room to put One Will Fall in there. You can even have it hug the top of the poster, and that's fine. It'll still be as powerful and ominous. And all that space we just cut, what you do is you take that space, and then you move it to the bottom of the poster. And then you fill it with the water, but mostly just black, too. Let the water just kind of... Let the water just kind of feather into black. And then what you do there is you take all the titles um, in theaters, HBO Max, 2021, all that stuff, and you put that at the bottom in that black. So it's easier to read. It's popping more. It's not obscuring Godzilla. And overall, the entire picture will just feel better. I really wish I was good enough at photo editing to do this and show you what I'm talking about. But just to kind of show you like a rough idea, here's, here's how I would recrop things. Uh, number two, it's the placement of the title that I, I just despise. And first of all, the question is, does it need a title? I mean, are we there yet with King Kong and Godzilla as some of the most popular IPs in the world that we don't need to identify who they are and what's about to happen? Maybe one will fall is enough. Maybe people are smart enough to know this is Kong versus Godzilla. And you could argue, no, that's not the case. Kong's in a smoky background, and all we could see are Godzilla's dorsal plates in this picture. And that's fine. That's a fair argument. But then it's also the general placement of the title that's really upsetting to me. Uh, I think it's really crowding the center of the picture. Uh, there's just a lot going on in the center visually. I think there's absolutely no reason for Godzilla's dorsal plate to be obscuring the verses. It doesn't make this feel any... You know, it's not adding any depth to the image. It's not making it feel more 3D or anything by doing that. It's just literally obscuring an asset. And to make it even worse, it's happening in the dead center of the poster, horizontally and vertically. And it's just fighting. Like, for me, it's fighting for visual attention. So my eye is going to the dead center of this poster, and all that's there is a spike obscuring a word. Maybe the solution is to ditch the title altogether, or maybe the solution is to keep all that space at the top and move the title up there, or bring the space to the bottom and move the title there. If you fix those first two issues, honestly, I think I would love the poster so much already. I, I think that's enough. This third issue is just 
more of a Nick pick. Going by all the 1,000 banners we've seen so far and going by this poster, it's clear that the look of the film will feature a lot of blues and oranges to represent Godzilla and Kong. I think movies these days tend to go overboard with the uh, color analogies or whatever you want to call it. Um, and also, in general, movie posters are just so boring <laughs> now because all they do is way uh, all they do is feature blues and oranges and this is just another one of those posters now there's nothing about it that'll make it stand out from the from the hundreds of generic movie posters that just boil down to blues and oranges uh solution to that see that's a tough one because if you turn that all black then kong might get lost unless you turn the smoke whites and grays it's hard to say. Um, this is one of those things where I, I don't know unless I, I'm doing it myself, you know, and just fiddling around uh, writing a song as I go, you know. But hey, it's cool to see something new and even better, we're actually going to see some footage this weekend. So I don't mean to be pissing on anyone's parade. Uh, this is uh, this is just one person's opinion and I just thought I'd uh, throw this video up there and see what kind of action it got. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Sound off in the comments.